Okay, so the first thing, the very first thing to do is um, treat this um, gas as an, uh, as an ideal gas, right? Gas in the pipe is an ideal gas, which means this equation applies, PV equals NKT, and of course is the number of particles. Uh, so N is uh, the mass over the mass of a particle, right? So that gives you um, a dimensionless quantity, which is the number of particles you have. Uh, and so another way to write this is uh, the denominator stays the same. That's M, uh, mass of a particle. Numerator becomes dm dt times dt. And so this is basically just a mass on top. So the dimension work out. Uh, but also what this means is this is the rate of change of mass, right? So um, that's what the mass flow rate um, uh, that the equation that the problem is alluding to, uh, dm dt times the time interval dt. All right, uh, and so if we if we plug this into the into the ideal gas equation, we have PV equals uh, dm dt times dt over m p mass of a particle uh, times kt. Uh, mass of the particle is um, Mass of the particle is just the total mass uh, over the Avogadro's num over Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number, number of particles in one mole. Um, so mass, um, total mass over mass of particles gives that. So that's how you get that. So plugging that in there uh, gives you, uh, plugging that in there gives you this equation, which is dm dt times dt times kt over m over na, uh, m being the total mass. Okay, so um, that's the ideal gas equation. So we can uh, we can we can make the this dm dt part the subject, right? That's what we're after. Uh, so what this becomes is that dm dt. Uh, times dt mass flow rate times the uh, time interval is equal to pv times m over na Avogadro's number kt. Okay, um, you should check that the units work out on the left and right hand side, obviously, um, but they do. So uh, let's um, let's use this now. So we want um, so we want a new temperature uh, T2 that gives the increased mass flow rate uh, inc increased by 1.5 times. Uh, so what we have, and this is part two, uh, what we have is that 1.5 times dm dt times dt uh, will be equal to 1.5 times PVM over NaKT1. That's the uh, initial temperature. And so that's equal to final PVM over NAKT2. Note the differences between the, whoops. Right, so note the differences between the, the left and the right hand side here. Uh, PV and M, NAK, these are all the same. And so what we're left with is that 1.5 times T2 will be equal to T1. Um, uh, in other words, the final temperature will be 1 over 1.5 times the initial temperature, uh, which is 2 thirds the initial temperature. 